BC's chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel, who joins me here in studio. And Richard, you've co covered uh, Afghanistan and the travails and the, the ripple effect of what terror means for that country. But this school was opened 10 years ago. You know the geography of how this school is situated. How much of a target is it? Well, it is one of the biggest targets in Kabul, frankly. It has always been a target for the Taliban and other extremist groups because it's called the American University, because there are American professors there, because it represents a kind of American occupation, if you will, in the minds of the Taliban and, and other extremist groups. Uh, it is also a very secure target. The fact that the, uh, the attackers had to set off a very large bomb by the gate in order to get in. And Afghan security forces then followed them in and are engaged in a uh, gunfight with them right now. Uh, a, a witness we spoke to just a few moments ago said that there are, they are still hearing gunfire. It is somewhat less than they were hearing uh, an hour or two hours ago, but that it is still an ongoing operation. Americans uh, are on the scene, but it is only, we are told, Afghan security forces that, are, that have entered the compound. And again, for folks just tuning in, this happening at American University in Kabul, this campus is about five acres large, opened in 2006. About 1,700 full and part-time students in attendance there. And I think you were saying before that there's also another school nearby, a school for the blind, correct? So this is the American uh, University in Kabul. It's like the American University in Cairo, the American University mm -hmm. in Beirut, the American University in, in, in Paris to a degree. There are campuses overseas uh, with the idea to bring American-style education, perhaps even American-style values, to a foreign country. Most of the students are, are local. Some government officials, actually, in Afghanistan take classes there in human rights and civil service. And uh, the, the uh, American professor who was kidnapped uh, just a short sure, while ago school. was teaching mostly Afghan government officials uh, civil service, how to run a government bureaucracy. That's typical of the kind of things they teach there. They also teach math and science and art. Uh, American professors, a, a lot of American professors there. A student we spoke to today said about half of his professors are, are Americans. Right next door, there is a school for the blind. And uh, it, 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 because this is a, a complicated situation, Afghan uh, forces are also searching that school for the blind because they don't know how many gunmen they are. They don't know who exactly the gunmen are, although the suspicion is the Taliban. And they don't know if they are on one or both of these campuses. And no claim of responsibility, as we're saying, because it could be anything affiliated with the Taliban to potentially ISIS? Those would be the most likely two mm -hmm. suspects, um, but no, no claim of responsibility. There was no claim of responsibility, by the way, also for the kidnapping of mm -hmm. the American and Australian professors. Uh, the suspicion in Kabul is that it may have been a, a, a criminal activity, someone who kidnapped them for ransom, but, uh, but there, there was no claim of responsibility. But to, to understand why this is happening right now, uh, yes, the, the target has, has long been attractive for extremist groups because there are Americans there, mm -hmm. it has the name, the American University. But what, what most people haven't noticed while uh, we've been focused on the Trump election and, and uh, the Trump campaign and the election in general is that um, the war in Afghanistan has been intensifying dramatically over the last several months. Uh, the U United States relaxed its rules of engagement so that it's, the U.S. doesn't uh, isn't constrained to carry out attacks only when American forces are at risk, but also when Afghan forces mm -hmm. are at risk, which expands their ability to operate considerably. So over the last several months, there have been much, many more airstrikes against the Taliban and ISIS uh, nationwide, north, in the east, and in the south. And you saw just yesterday that American troop was killed there. So. The, the war is back on in Afghanistan. Uh, the, tr the troops that were supposed to be coming home this, this, uh, this year are no longer going to be coming home. The uh, troop levels in Afghanistan are going to be elevated for an indefinite period of time. And, and I think that's why we're seeing, we're seeing this uh, increased level of violence. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.